Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. We're going to look at the frame and propulsion system on the DJI Agris T50, the XAG P100 Pro, and the newcomer for the US market, the EA Vision J100. All right, so let's talk about frame and propulsion system briefly and why that's important. As these drones get bigger, as they have over the past several years here in the US, Bigger, meaning bigger tank, bigger batteries, bigger motors, bigger props. The frame has to get bigger and the propulsion system have to get bigger to carry all of that weight. But as they get bigger, they get harder to handle uh, and there's more stress put on lots of different components. So it's really important to have a well-designed, robust frame propulsion system. So we're going to look at each three of these independently and look at key aspects between them. Uh, so first off, overall size and stature of these drones. As you can see, the DJI is the tallest because it has the arms that slant upward. This is due to having counter-rotating props. To get that all to fold well in and out, you have to have arms that are slanted upwards uh, instead of having a flat horizontal arm. The XAG has an underslung tank, uh, meaning that the arms have to break outside of that tank right there. So they actually break, not at the frame, but out from the frame a little bit, giving the drone a wider platform, but yet a bit shorter. Uh, so in general, the EA Vision here takes a bit of both of those aspects, where we have horizontal arms making the drone low in stature, just like our XAG. Um, and Yet we have a center tank making the drone about the same size front to back as the DJI. Um, so the J100 is going to be very similar. If you're already operating a, a DJI T50 or T40, very similar as far as size, stature, and how you transport it uh, to the T50. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unfold these drones so you can take a look at how they're unfold, uh, how they clamp in, and the ease to do that with each of them. Uh, so first off, the XAG has two handles up on top. It's pretty easy to transport. And you've got these arm locks right here, which you kind of have to pull. There you go. And you have to be careful of your cam locks here because it's kind of a clamshell style cam lock. One goes up, one goes down. You have to kind of line it up first and then clamp it yeah, not quite as simple as the dji there we go and then same thing on the front and same thing over here oops that up first. Gotta really watch this because you go, you'll bend, you'll end up bending this uh, this cam lock here if you don't pick that up. If you're in the field, you're in a hurry, then that can happen. Okay, now we're unfolded. As you can see, the XAG, although it does have a robust and solid clamping system, uh, there are some watch outs and it does take a bit longer uh, than some of the other systems. But we just have one prop on each arm, so it makes the uh, unfolding of the propellers pretty simple. All right, DJI, we'll look at that next. It's not quite as easy as the XAG to pick up because you gotta watch these props just like that they will fall over. So you really wanna make sure that you have clamps or a bungee around your props whenever you're transporting this drone. It is just four arms. They are really simple to unfold, just like that. There you go. But we do have eight props, meaning double the props to fold out. All right, lastly, our J100, we'll give ourselves a bit more room here. So we just have one set of props on each arm. So picking this up, 
you just slipped your arms through and pick up just like that. So really simple. And unlike the T50, you're not gonna have a prop that's gonna sling down because you can actually grab onto all the props at the same time. And also like the T50, since we have arms that bend right here with the cam locks, it's gonna be very simple to flip out, unfold, There you go. So J100, like you can see, combines the simplicity of the single prop with the XAG and the simplicity of the cam lock style of the T50. So setup time is really quick on the folding frame of the J100. All right, on the propulsion system. So if we look here, we've got counter rotating props on the T50. One goes this way, one goes this way. Not only that, but because we have the spray system that goes through the center of the motor, this means the motors have to be A, smaller because we have two of them. We can't have that much weight on the arm. Uh, and B, they have to be hollow. So that shaft in the middle of the motor has to be hollow. On the EA Vision, because we only have one motor on spray motor on the back, that means the motors are only on the top for the propellers. They don't have to be hollow, meaning we can have a nice, wide, big, solid, all aluminum motor versus plastic right there on the DJI system. Motor comparison to the XAG, very similar in size. The EA Vision has about a half inch wider motor, but as far as construction quality, both about the same. And we look at the props, also about the same. We have these nice big bolts on the top. The XAG does have um, this kind of uh, teeter-totter mechanism on the propellers. Um, they say this is due to when the drone, you know, you know, turns and whatnot, you're not putting extra pressure on the props. We've never noticed that being an issue with the DJI. I think this might just be one more piece to wear. Um, but nevertheless, that's the only difference really when we look at the XAG versus the DJI. Now looking at the ESCs on these drones, this is the part that actually controls the motor itself. So the power comes from the battery, goes to the ESC, uh, then the control comes from the flight controller to the ESC, and that's what's going to control the motor and tell the motor how fast to spin. XAG, EA Vision, very similar placement of the, of the ESC. Top mounted with fins on the top. This is, in my opinion, the best place to mount your ESCs. This gives heat dissipation, um, the best chance to actually dissipate that heat from the ESC because they do build up heat over time. So it dissipates the heat from the top and then you also have air blowing straight down. EA Vision is a bit easier to replace uh, than the XAG. We have fewer bolts um, on this system than we do on this system, uh, but overall very similar. If we compare that to the DJI, here's the T50. You see we have two ESCs side mounted on here. Uh, so double the ESCs means double the parts to replace. Uh, it also means that our heat dissipation will not be as good as the J100 uh, because we have them side mounted so the heat has to actually travel through instead of just out the top of the ESC. So overall the J100 and the XAG seem to have very similar propulsion systems. The DJI and EA Vision have very similar frame systems. So we're essentially taking the best from the DJI, the best from the XAG, combining that into one unit right here. We have a nice robust frame, easy to transport, low profile, heavy duty motors, heavy duty ESCs, all in one package. This is going to change the game for the US market. Just looking at the frame propulsion system on the J100, huge fan. If you guys wanna see more of the J100, stay tuned for more videos. If you wanna see a demo, let us know. See ya.